இவர் எழுத்துக்களுக்கு உண்டு கீர்த்தி உண்மையின் மேல் இவருக்கோ பிரீத்தி இவர் உரையை கேட்டால் ஆகும் நம் அறிவு விருத்தி இன்று சமுதாயத்தை நிமித்த உழைப்பவர்களில் ஒருவர் அவர்தான் பிரபல பத்திரிகை எழுத்தாளர் திரு எஸ் குருமூர்த்தி அவர்கள் Swami Gautamananda Maharaj with whom I share a very special relationship in the Ramakrishna Mission. Swami Vimurthananda, the editor of Ramakrishna Vijayam. Sri Nataraj IPS with whom I had a conversation on the side that if he were not a policeman, he would probably be a philosopher. And my friend and the editor of Dhinamani, Sri Vaidhinathan, and mr devarajan and the monks of the ramkrishna order who have a special role in shaping my thoughts and also my very idea of the nation and the world and this is a great institution to which i belong i was shaped by the masters in vekananda college and dear brothers and sisters see today we have gathered here to recall a person who defined the idea of india that so many youngsters students participated in the drawing competition over 30000 students all over the country is a very unique achievement because to capture swami vivekananda in a physical form requires not only skill but also devotion no art comes without devotion so the easiest and the best way of generating devotion in a person is to teach him art and painting is like music a devotional art of course all arts have their distortions also but here this competition promotes the devotional part of the art and i am extremely happy that the students who are assembled here are the winners in this competition and this function coincides with recalling a great leader who shaped the indian mind swami vivekananda was no ordinary person he was a human dynamo and he energized a country which had virtually fallen apart as a broken civilization today we see a mighty nation on the rise today the whole world is looking at india as the fastest growing economy with a military might with a social cohesion democracy and much of what indians did not know about india the world is telling us today for instance that india is going to be the engine of growth for the world is not a finding by any indian it is the think tanks in the west which now see india as not only a rising power but as a power which is likely to drive the world in future in fact as someone who has some familiarity with economics the economics of india is influenced by the culture of india it is built on the foundations of the spiritual values of the indian people and swami vivekananda when he looked at india and he said that every nation has a special character and the indian character is spirituality and many people did not understand the implication of what swami ji was saying the 
the indian spirituality is not divorced from materiality but the definition of material culture in india is founded on civil on the civilizational and spiritual code of india and that is the point i would like to emphasize here you see today in the world there is a huge economic crisis in fact a mighty country like america which was the sino shell of the world in every country in the world if there was any one consulate before whom hundreds of people would stand in queue to get an admission to go to that country it was the united states of america it was not happening in one year it was happening year after year it was happening in russia it was happening in china it was happening in europe it was happening in asia and in bombay if you go and see the consulate general office different political parties have put tents so that those who stand in queue can get tea coffee free of cost so as to win the heart of the people who are going out of india to america the political parties had built even tents for these people to go and have a cup of tea or coffee that is the might with which america attracted the world and it was a military power and intellectual power and a country with great soft power harvard university stanford university mighty companies and it was playing a huge role and the country's currency which is a national currency had become the global currency there is no world trade possible without dollar and when the american federal reserve system used to change the policies the global stock markets would go down go up and come down so a nation's economic policies announcement by some treasury secretary in america would influence the course of the world that was the might of united states of america but today that country is in very deep trouble many people see it as an economic crisis a financial crisis it's just a mismanagement of the economy interest rates were unnecessarily cut lot of credits was introduced into the economy and america is suffering because of its mistakes but people who are not economists people who are statesmen people who know history people who understand human nature people who understand the course of a society view it entirely differently they don't look at it purely as an economic crisis if one has to look at the state of america today one has to understand what america has undergone in the last 25 years you know what has happened in america is a cultural collapse it is the erosion in the spiritual values of america represented by such great men as abraham lincoln america cannot produce an abraham lincoln today india can still produce a vekananda and i will make it good today the crisis in america is that the material element has so madly dominated the idea of personal life public life social life political life and economic life today no person has any respect for anyone any concept other than money 